Hi, everybody. I'm going to take you through some games today that we're going to use as our music class. And hopefully you'll have a lot of fun with this. After this video is over, I'd like you to go into um, Seesaw and find the links to the game and, and uh, the games, plural, and practice these things on your own. So let me start by sharing some things with you. All right, so the first thing we're going to work on is actually um, decoding. And we're going to do decoding in a slightly different way today. I'm going to give, give you some visuals to look at here. And let's see, I need to present this. There we go. So when you're doing your decoding, I would like you to open up. Um, we're gonna, it's called Camp Out. And once it fully loads, I'll show you the levels of the game and we'll do a couple um, trials and then give you some time to um, decode some of our rhythms. So you're going to notice that this is not a totally crazy weird concept. It's just um, kind of regular old decoding with some visuals this time. All right, so the first thing you get to do is choose your level. So um, beginner level gives you three of the four beats. Easy level gives you two of the four beats. Normal level gives you one of the four beats and hard level gives you zero of the four beats. And if that doesn't make sense to you, that's okay because we're gonna practice it right now. So I'm gonna click on beginner, which is where you should start. Um, don't click right to hard because it might be too hard for you and you might not be sure what you're, so how you're supposed to answer a question. So start with beginner and then work your way up. So. These are our camping items, and to play this game, you start by clicking on any of these items. Let's see, I'm kind of feeling hungry, so I'm going to click on these marshmallows here. And it takes you to a slide that gives you a clue that I'll play in a moment. It gives you an answer that you're not going to listen to till the end, and it also gives you a pattern that you're going to decode. Now, since we clicked on easy, um, or sorry, beginner, um, the easiest level. Um, our clue is actually going to play an audio file that gives you three of the four beats of a four beat do and due day pattern. And you can use your four fingers when you're, when you're doing this so you can keep track of your four beats just like we do in class. And remember, when you're listening to decode, you're listening to whether a sound, <sighs> opening a cheese stick, you're listening to whether a sound has one sound in a beat or if it has two sounds in a beat. If it has one sound in a beat, it's going to be a do. And if it has two sounds in a beat, then it's going to be a do day. World's hardest cheese stick to open. Okay. There you go. So once again, if it's one sound in a beat, it's a do. If it's two sounds in a beat, and of course there'll be faster sounds, two faster sounds in a beat, it's a do day. Okay. So let's listen to our clue. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Do day. So they gave us do day, do day, do day. They didn't give us the fourth beat, which is what we need to figure out on our own. So now I'm going to come over here and click on the headphones on decode this pattern. And they're going to, they're going to um, give us a four beat rhythm. You have to listen specifically to that last beat, the fourth beat, and figure out if it has one sound or two sounds. And then tell me if that's a do or a do day. Let's listen. Ooh, since I talked a bunch, we're going to listen to our clue again first. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. Here's our pattern. Bum, 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 bum. Now we decode. Do day, do day, do day, do. And yes, it requires some remembering. When you're on your own playing this game, as soon as you do your decoding, click on the answer to see how well you did. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do. Hmm, I got it correct, so I'm going to click on correct. 
and it takes you back to this screen. It'll bring you back here till you get a few right, and then it'll ask you to move up to the next level. So there's a couple different things involved here. Let's see. I want to do the bug spray next. Okay, here's our clue. Get your four fingers ready. Do day, do, do day, do, do day. Okay, so that was do day, do, do day. And of course, we need to figure out the fourth beat. Here's our pattern. Bum, 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 bum. You can even listen to that again if you need it again. Bum, 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 bum. Now we decode. Do day, do, do day, do day. Let's click on the answer. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. And let's say you got it wrong. You click on incorrect. And then it says one mistake, be careful. All right, so that's how this piece goes. When you are done, you can click on summer camp and it takes you, says you completed the beginner level and are ready for the easy level. Now the easy level um, is the same idea, only it gives you two instead of three of your beats. So let's click on the compass and we'll just do one of these and then you can have fun playing this on your own. Listen to our clue. Do day do. Do day do. Okay, so that was do day do. And we have to figure out those last two beats. Here's our pattern. Bum, 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 bum. Now wait, now wait, something's going on here. Do day do. Do day do. Bum, bum. Okay, so for some reason, this was a really bad one for me to choose for this video, but um, my pattern didn't match my clue. Did you notice that? There was something weird because the clue starts with do day do, do day do, day, do. do. and the pattern starts with do day. So that bum, actually is just bum, an error bum, in the. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. That is just an error in the game. I'm sorry about that. I'll actually fix that after I'm done recording here so that doesn't happen for you if you click on the compass on the easy level. Um, if there's other snafus in this game, I apologize. Um, it's kind of the sort of thing where there's like 8 million different things to click on, so it's hard for me to double check everything. Um, do your best. Let me know if something doesn't work or if you need help. And just remember, if you ever get frustrated and you're not sure how this works, don't let it upset you, okay? Um, this is the sort of thing that is tough for a lot of people. Um, and I don't want it do, to... Do, do, do. I don't want it to upset you. So let's continue on. I want to show you another game we're going to play this week. Maybe we'll bring all these games back next week when I see you in person. That'd be really fun too. So this is actually a closet key game. And we've never played closet key um, with a screen before. This is always a game we just sang and then we hid and we passed a key around and we played. But um, it's a song I want us to keep in our brains for decoding later. So we're going to practice the song now. So the way we play the game with the screen is um, we sing the song. I have lost my closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost my closet key in my lady's garden. That's our song in case you forgot. You sing it however many times you want. And then you're going to try to find the key. You can see on our screen there's 20 um, boxes. And I figured instead of me picking the boxes, I would make it fun. I'm going to use my dice roller. I have a 20-sided dice, and I'm going to roll it. Um, and we're going to see what number we're going to pick. 13 is what my dice says. So let's see if the key is under box 13. Come on, box 13. Yes, I moved it to the discard pile and you see underneath, we have this little gnome. There's no key. Ah, 
So we didn't find it yet. So now we have to sing our song again. I have lost my closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost my closet key in my lady's garden. Now, if I was live with you, of course, I'd ask you for some input here, but you're not. So I'm just going to roll my 20-sided dice again. Seven is our next number. So let's see if the key is under number seven. Oh, it's not. It's just another no meat guy. All right. We still didn't find it. We have one more chance to find it. Here we go. I have lost my closet key in my lady's garden. I have lost my closet key in my lady's garden. All right. I need to roll the die again. Oh, I got a seven again. Isn't that what I just had? Yes, it was. That's weird. I'd get a seven again. Hey, you guys are really loud and I'm like literally recording right now. Can you please not be right here? All right, I got 13 this time. 13. Oh, we already chose 13 too. This is so weird. Okay, I'm just going to choose one. Let's do number 10. And by the way, I don't know where the key is for this one. I don't know. So let's move number 10 to the just card pile see if it's under 10 it's not oh so you could keep playing this on your own i'm gonna make sure when i share this with you i give you some different games this was game one so i have a bunch of different versions and um all right so of course at the end of your game you get to sing that you found the closet key and when you find the closet key, you get to sing, I have found my closet key in my lady's garden. I have found my closet key in my lady's garden. All right. That's how this game works. I have one more thing to show you. It's another game. And it looks like this. Okay. So in this game, your job is to look at the animal to say its name. You need to stop now. Go in the hallway, please. You're so loud and distracting. Sorry. All right, so you're going to say the name of the animal, and it has the word there in case you're not sure which one it is. This is a frog, of course. And I want you to think about the word frog. Does that have one sound or two sounds? And you can actually think syllables here. One syllable or two syllables. Frog. I think you guys use hand claps for frog in your classroom. You can also do chin drops. Frog. One chin drop. So we would call that. Um, we would select this note here. We call it a do and not a due day. And because of that, we're going to select this note here that has just one note head. We also have the option of the note that has two note heads. And that's not what this one would be. So there we click on frog. It says correct. Let's move on to rabbit. Rabbit. How many sounds for rabbit? Rabbit. Two, right? Rabbit. So we're going to pick the note that has two note heads. There we go. All right. B. B. What do you think? All right, I'm going to stop giving you the answers and let you play this on your own. Have fun with this. Um, I am going to make that go away, come back and see you. All right, so I look forward to seeing you in person next week. And we'll definitely play Closet Key. Um, maybe we'll do some camp out. And maybe we'll, yeah, I think we'll go through all three of these next week when I see you in person. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having fun and playing in the snow and all of those things. And I've enjoyed having music class with you. Thank you. Bye.